Hello everyone, it's not a new Pat. Today we're going to be reviewing the general killer perk, Thrill of the Hunt. Thrill of the Hunt gives a token for every totem that is still remaining on the map, so for every token and or totem, a 10% blood point boost in the hunting category is applied, as well as survivors clean totems 6% slower for each totem remaining. Meaning, survivors cleanse up to 30% slower when all 5 totems are still standing. Finally, killers get an audio and visual indicator whenever someone starts working on a hex totem, so long as Thrill of the Hunt is still active. The pros of this perk are that it lets you know when someone is cleansing your hex. This is really helpful for guarding things like your Ruin hex or your Devour Hope hex. Then, it slows down survivors from cleaning those hex totems, so hopefully you can get there in time to hit them off. Finally, the extra blood points are nice. The cons are obvious. Some totem spawns are awful and they'll be gone in the first two minutes of a game regardless. You just won't be able to get there in time. For the demonstration, let's take a look and a listen for the visual and audio indicators for when someone touches a hex with Thrill of the Hunt active. Now let's see the difference between cleansing speeds of when Thrill of the Hunt is active with 5 tokens and when there is no Thrill of the Hunt at all. You can see it's significantly quicker to cleanse a totem without Thrill of the Hunt. Now, let's get into our video examples. In this first one, you can see that I only have two totems remaining, as indicated in the perk window in the bottom right hand corner. I get the indicator that a survivor is on my totem, so I rush her over and I'm a second too late. If there were more totems left in the match, he would not have gotten my hex broken. However, it is at least nice to get a down in exchange for losing my hex. This happens quite frequently when using Thrill of the Hunt. Now, for this next example, I have a Hex Heavy build on top of Thrill of the Hunt. I'm also using Hex Ruin and Hex Huntress Lullaby. As you can see here at the start of the clip, I'm relying on Ruin to keep generator progress low. I am constantly running survivors off of generators and trying to work my hooks up to build the Huntress Lullaby stacks. Now, you can see that a survivor gets on my Hex. I am way across the map at this point. However, you can still see that I have 5 full stacks in the bottom right hand corner. I'm able to get all the way across the map to down Bill before he can even cleanse my hex. You can also see here that this is my final hook to get Hunter Solo by to 5 stacks, which means it is at its maximum use, and you can see that all my hex totems are still standing due to Thrill of the Hunt. Next, rather predictably when unhook, Bill is going to return to the Hex Totem, and I come back to punish him. I love that you can tell when survivors go back and target certain Hex Totems around the map with this perk. This time he isn't so bold and doesn't commit, but I'm still able to down him anyway. Then, with 3 generators remaining, 2 survivors left, Ruin and Hunter's Lullaby still active, it's clearly not happening. The last survivor alive is going to have to rely on the hatch. As you can see, I find and kill the last survivor and the game is over. You'll notice that my Thrill of the Hunt prevented any of my Hex Totems from being cleansed the whole game. Without this perk, it is highly unlikely that three Hex Totems stand at the end of this game. So let's give it a grade. I like Thrill of the Hunt, but I give it a 6 out of 10. It's helpful to protect your Devour Hope, Ruin, Hunter's Lullaby, or any other Hex Totem, but it still really isn't useful enough to use on its own. So as I said before, you have to pair this with another powerful hex to make this perk worth using. The obvious weakness with every hex is that poor placement at the spawn can have this hex broken with less than a minute or two in the game, and then it's dead weight. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk reviews, make sure to visit my channel and subscribe. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.